those intellectual trends of the last 30 or 40 years that seem most dismissive of the ordinary would certainly include dominant strands in feminism, radical feminism, Marxist feminism, Marxism, of course, in all its many varieties, even though, you know, you're supposed to be working in behalf of the proletariat, they have this absolutely abstract category uh, and, and real working class people disappoint them all the time because they don't sign on with their ideas. And I would say there's a certain strand in a contemporary liberalism um, that I would associate with those who uh, have, a, a, again, a kind of grandiose view of how we can achieve some kind of perfect justice. I would say that there, there is indeed something in my own upbringing and in my own temperament uh, that made me friendly toward criticism of the ideologues um, that I encountered in that particular era. And I would say it had to do with, uh, first of all, with being raised in a religious family, um, family of just ordinary hardworking people who were not rich and who were not famous and, um, and who instilled certain very strong values uh, including um, a value of fairness, which meant that, you know, you, you, you work hard, you get paid for what you do, you know, you don't ask other people to do what you yourself should be doing to take care of yourself. And I think also I would have to include my um, childhood experience of polio, of what it means to be, to be suddenly sort of helpless and vulnerable. Um, and that taught me certain lessons about human frailty and about the fact that um, you know, that we can't demand too much from people. The problem begins at the very beginning with, with a flawed understanding of human nature, if we may put it that way, or even with the denial that we have natures. Um, so if you have, if you, for example, deny that we have natures and you think that we should be living in a world that's entirely different from the world that we're in, uh, then those who don't share your views can only be seen as being stuck in some kind of false consciousness, if you will, because there's, there's nothing to stop them from embracing this full panoply of, of utopian notions. So you can only ridicule them and put them down because you've rejected altogether the notion um, that our natures, if you will, are limited um, and that there's, uh, there's a kind of finitude that we all live within.